Hi, I'm Gail Minogue, and I just wanted to ask you a basic question. Have you ever thought you had past lives? Have you ever had a condition or situation where you it seemed like you've been there before or this person you met before, but you don't understand why? That's why I want to talk to you today about reincarnation. And I'm going to do it in two parts, part one today and part two in the next video. And you can learn more about why you feel something or someone is very familiar. As you know, I do a lot of work with numerology trends and cycles, and sometimes we get off in the weeds on areas that have nothing to do with our everyday lives, but I want to bring you back to the, some basic information that I think can also help you regarding your own life. Why did you come here? What's the purpose of this? Is there any meaning to this? How long are you supposed to be here? When do you get out? How did you get in? And how do you get out? and why we're so deathly afraid of death itself. So the whole reincarnation process is a big puzzle and you hear a lot of information that is basically made up or quote channeled through or all this kind of stuff. So be careful, don't waste your time and money and energy on things that are sort of what I call turban heads. The whole idea of reincarnation is really about you have been here before. All of us have been here before. For the most part, that's a general statement. There are some that are really very, very, very special, but we usually don't run into them. And so they'll, there's people want answers, so they make up a lot of stuff, you know, walk-ins and all this kind of stuff. I'd like to just bring you back to the meat and potatoes of reincarnation. When we are coming in, we will create a plan for ourselves. And that plan, you will use your entire life. Whether you realize you have one is another story. Most people don't realize they have one. And they kind of go around in the weeds trying to figure out what's their purpose, what's their meaning, should they move, should they stay, etc. And so it's always good to know what was it I planned to do here. And that was created before you were born. And there's such a thing as I've spoken to on other YouTube videos about the sacred geometry, the sacred grid where everything is in order, the entire universe is in order. We cannot at this time explore it because we are unable to go at the speed of light. If you want to be able to traverse the universes, universes, you need to be able to travel at the speed of light and we cannot do it. So it looks like a big black nothingness out there. But there is a source that is creating everything. Uh, some people give it a man-based entity. It, it, in the past, we thought of quote, we, we know call God as being space-based. It wasn't anything to do with a quote, a human. And then it was time-based and now it's man-based. So we actually give God a persona, and God will punish, and God will reward, and God does this, God does that. Actually, there's an intelligence that keeps this entire program going. We have no idea the depth, breadth, anything of it, really. And we're just trying to figure out stuff, bits and pieces. So many universes are there, and so many civilizations have come and gone here. Many, many more than we even have thought of. So one of the things you want to remember is this is temporary while you are here on planet Earth, number one. You have approximately 120 years. You check out way too soon in your 80s. You were not intended to do that. You didn't take care of yourself. You abused yourself. You ate and did whatever you wanted. You didn't realize your timing on things. You never thought you would deteriorate until you start to do that. And then you regret all the things you didn't do. So let's try to avoid all that. And let's try to figure out, even if you're in the beginning of your life now or the end of your life now, what, what would you still like to do before you leave? And what do you want to do looking forward as you start entering your adult life? So when a soul is created, there is a sound struck in the heavens. It's called your forever sound. Now, most people don't even know they have a sound. The ancients used to heal themselves in sound chambers. They could say their sound and it would create a balance of all the molecular structure in their body. And because of that, they could heal. 
be having a clue. We get lost into sounds and we get whoopee and we're now understanding that sound literally moves the molecular structures and it creates wonderful healing qualities, but we're just kind of approaching that. That's very ancient. So when you're born, there's a sound struck, okay? This is your forever sound. You carry it from lifetime to lifetime, from universe to whatever plane you're on, okay? And so when you come to this earth plane, you have to put together the physical form to function here. And that's one of the first things you do. You will decide on your gender. You will decide how you're going to set that up, okay? And you will decide with the group which one you're going to enter into. Well, I come through this family. Do I want to be born in that country? I want to have this experience at birth. I want to be able to change. I'm going to come through this people, but I'm going to leave them and be adopted over here by these people. So we have a planning. Now, hopefully, we can create the plan that we design, and we can do it and use it for our entire life. But you first have to let people know you have a plan. So when you come in here, you have come in on what I call a spiral motion. Look at your sink, your toilet, look at the energy here, it spirals. Everything spirals, it spirals in the inside of an apple, it's a spiral. The inside of the drain, when your water goes down in the kitchen sink, it's a spiral. You come in on a spiral. Depending on whether you come in from the south or you descend from the north, will descend on also the, it adds to the body function, whether it's going to be female or male. If it's coming from the bottom, it will have a more intense energy in the lower half of the body, which is which we'll call the genitals of the male. As it traverses up the body, the breasts shrink, their chat, the chests are flat, and there's tendency to be less hair. And that's, a, that's the tendency, but more men go bald than females, even though they, both sexes do. If the energy is coming from the north through, then it will have more hair on the top and the energy goes to the chest and it's a bigger chest or breast. As it shrinks to the bottom, the lower genitals are much, much smaller or inside the body. So that's just in the making of the structure of the body. So you enter this earth, usually male or female, deciding whether you're going to be that gender or whether you're going to try on another gender while you're in that gender, you make these decisions before you get here. Now, how do you get this plan in place? That is what is hidden in your full birth name that's registered. Remember that. When you are in here, you have a birth name you created prior to birth. You impress this name on your parents' subconscious to give to you at birth. So you basically name yourself. Now, for instance, one of my children is adopted. We were very confused in the beginning of what her real name was, so we changed it. It was years later, we found her original birth name. And so um, it's, it's a shame in a way because it, it, was, it had always been underlying any name you call yourself, that real birth name that she came in with, because I was able to adopt her at uh, five or six months. Anyway, so you never lose the original name that's registered here. I'm going to continue with this on another uh, YouTube video. So I just want to get the the beginning of this started so you can understand the, the functional parts, the planning that goes into a soul's reincarnation here. Now, because you're coming in here, you're bringing a lot of consciousness with you because every level is consciousness, all these different levels of consciousness. And when you get out of here, you're going to take what you learned. You're not going to get away with anything else. It's only what you learned. You take your senses they come in when you reincarnated, you have your sense energies. If you had something you want to be appearing in, say, a disabled form, then you will have that as well, a birth defect as well. Sometimes that's just the karma for the parents or something from the past life that's reverse roles in this life. And we can get in all of that in another YouTube. I just wanted to give you the basic start you on this, and you can do it part two on another uh, YouTube video all around the same issue of reincarnation. So it's pretty fascinating stuff. There's more, but we'll save that for the next one. And if you need to reach me, 
What did you plan? Real important, real important. What the heck did you plan and why are you just taking up space here? Okay, we need you and we need you to work your plan. And the second part too is if you need to reach me privately, go to Gail Minogue, M-I-N-O-G-U-E, M-I-N-O-G-U-E dot com and take a look at some of the other YouTubes. You, you'll learn a lot about this. And the other thing, you can get my book, Divine Design. The other thing I wanted you to know is that every, usually every six weeks, I do a Zoom class. And if you get on my mailing list, you'll get a notice of when the next one is. And there's one coming up in March, March 9th. So let me know if you're interested. If you have any questions, love to hear from you. And always thank you for tuning in.